hello everyone in this video what I'm going to show you is how we can configure the VAMP to use the MySQL database that is running on your system for example this is my uh, VAMP running on my system as you can see the uh, the speedometer here it is uh, fully white which means all the services are running okay we have the MySQL that is running we have the PHP we have the Apache uh, which is running okay and uh, we have uh, MySQL server running as well okay and the version that I'm using is 5.1.36 okay if one of the services is not running then you will get the yellow speedometer here and if none of the service is running you will get the red uh, speedometer here okay so the, the purpose of the purpose of making this video is to show you how you can configure your MySQL to read the data which is already on your system because normally what happens is when you install the VAMP server it uh, what it does is uh, it stores all your data in the it creates a directory first by the name VAMP and inside the bin folder there is a folder called MySQL and inside MySQL there is another folder called MySQL 5.1 that is actually the version of the uh, MySQL that you install and, and inside that we have the data folder right here in which you have all your databases right here but what if you don't have your existing database on this path and you have a database on some other location and you want your VAMP to read those databases or uh, to to put it in another way you want to map your MySQL from VAMP server to your database which is on a different location or on a different path so the first thing that we do is we open the VAMP inside the MySQL submenu we go to my.ini because the way we configure MySQL is using the INI file just like we configure the PHP we go to php.ini for MySQL we go to my I think this stands for MySQL that is short for MySQL we go to my.ini and it opens up the the uh, file in a notepad so this one uh, word that we need to look for it is called uh, uh, data dir that is the data that stands for data directory and uh, yes it is right here so currently it is pointing to I'll just copy this uh, path to my clipboard okay I'll just paste it in the run prompt and here we go so right now it is mapped to this address okay and if you want to change it you can comment this line using the hash or pound sign and then you can have your path and make sure that the path is working and it is the one which you have access to similarly you can do the same thing with your error log you want to make sure where you want to store your error logs and you can store your base directory all these things are shown here so but before you do make sure that you make a backup of uh, my.ini because if anything goes wrong if anything is screwed up you can always switch over to your uh, original my.ini so making a backup is really very essential because something goes wrong or something goes missing your mysql will not work and you will end up reinstalling your whole entire ramp so we really have to be really very careful uh, when we do some changes in the configuration file so that's about it thank you for watching this video please do leave your comments and rate this video and do subscribe to my channel and as uh, i'll be making some more videos and you'll be notified immediately when i upload some new videos thank you very much for watching have yourself a good day bye